What up, y'all? Welcome to The Righteous Report. Some of you are missing some armor. And you're missing some armor because you misunderstand the armor of God. The armor of God is being established in the gospel. And you can't be established. You can't stand against the wiles of the devil if you don't understand the gospel. So when we usually read Ephesians 6 and talk about spiritual warfare, many times people spend all their time studying the devil. Right? Demons and not understanding the truth of the gospel. And that is what the armor is that you're able to stand against him with. So if you don't understand the gospel of peace because you've never actually heard the gospel of peace, or if you don't understand righteousness because someone has never thoroughly expounded on what righteousness is and what Jesus actually accomplished, you're missing some armor and you're left exposed to the devil. So whenever he engages you with these lies that cause you to question God's word, to stand established in this place, and you think spiritual warfare is pulling down strongholds out of the sky instead of the strongholds in your mind that are contrary to Jesus, if you think spiritual warfare is casting out demons instead of standing in the armor of God, you're actually falling victim and captive to the devil while you think you're engaging in real spiritual warfare. This is why we're all over the place, emotional, irrational, not standing, firm, established. This is why we experience uncertainty, no assurance, no firmness, fear, worry, anxiety, because we're not standing firm, established in the gospel. Let me show you this. Thank you, Jesus. Look at this. You need to put on the whole armor of God. You have to have all of, you have to understand this, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, since we wrestle against these things, wherefore you need to take the whole armor of God. For what reason? To cast out demons? I'm not saying there's no place for it, but you need to understand what this word says, not how people present to you what seems to be their truth, okay? That you may be able to withstand in the evil day. That means when you're you're presented with the option of questioning God's word. And having done all, you need to stand. You need to be established. Let's look at this. It says, moreover, brother, I declare unto you the gospel, which I prepared unto you, which is preached unto you, pardon me, which also you have received and wherein ye stand, right? So you're standing in the gospel that he preached. But what if you heard a different gospel? The Pray this prayer so that you don't gotta go to hell gospel. What if you never understood the actual gospel? And this is why you're uncertain, unsure, worried, fearful, questioning God, tossed to and fro. Look at this. And by which you are saved. So now, not only are you supposed to stand established in this, and I'm going to change the translations in a second so we can understand more, but you're saved by it. So if you're not experiencing salvation where you're saved, healed, delivered, preserved, kept safe and sound, restoring to health, how your feelings and your emotions, if you're not experiencing the salvation by the Savior, look, and you need to keep in memory what I preached unto you unless you have believed in vain, to none effect, fruitless, not accomplishing anything. And unfortunately, because many of us has have never heard the gospel of peace, because many of us have never been established in the word of righteousness, which is what the Bible calls the meat of the word. Strong meat belongs to those who, by reason of use, have learned to discern between good and evil. But it's this word of righteousness that needs to be understood. And we're going to get into that next week. But let's look at what this other translation says so we understand this. Look, brother, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received and on which you have taken your stand. 
So you can't take your stand in the whole armor of God, the bless, the breastplate of righteousness, which protects your vital organ. And you need to have your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Or what are you walking in? You're not going to be walking in the truth. You're not going to be standing in the truth. You're not going to understand salvation. If you spend all your time learning this faulty notion of spiritual warfare and learning everything about demons, everything about the devil, but the devil is the one who gets you to question God's word. That's why you need to be established in it so that you can stand on it because you're saved by it. So you can hold firmly to it so that your belief is not in vain. So that in the evil day, you're actually able to withstand. So at the time of this recording, I'm going to be talking about it next week. If you hear it later, it'll be in a playlist in the bio and the link will be in the description. But we're going to go through the gospel of peace, which is what's supposed to be being preached. And we're going to talk about the breastplate of righteousness so that you can see what Jesus has actually accomplished on your behalf so you won't be tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. So until then, I love you and I'll see y'all next time.